On MailChimp.com, you can set up a drip email campaign. To do that, click on Autoresponders. Next, click Upgrade to a monthly or pay-as-you-go account to enable. You have a couple options. For monthly plans, if you have 0 to 500 subscribers, you can pay $10 a month to send an unlimited amount of emails. If you have more subscribers, you can choose a different plan. Or if you have fewer subscribers, say for instance you have 30 clients that you're going to be sending emails to on a regular basis, you can buy email credits. For 300 email credits, it's $9. So if you're going to be sending your email campaigns out once per month or once per week with only 30 clients, it would be in your best financial interest to purchase credits. However, with the monthly fee, you are going to be billed automatically, so your clients will continue to receive emails even though you haven't gone into MailChimp and added more credits to your account. If you run out of credits, you'll have to go in and purchase more in order for your campaign to continue uninterrupted. Once you've purchased a plan under the Autoresponders tab, you are ready to set up your first autoresponder. Click Autoresponder and click Add Autoresponder. You have options for when the emails are sent. For the first email, you want to send it one day after sign up. If the client was imported or added manually by you, you want to click Use Import Time as Sign Up. So for this first email campaign that introduces your clients to your website, select one day after sign up and you can choose 12 a.m. Name the autoresponder. In this case, I'm going to choose introduction to website and click save. Scroll over introduction to website and click create email. Click send to entire list. Now you're going to use the information that was provided to you for your MailChimp drip campaign. So I'm going to go over to my email. Here are the eight weeks worth of drip campaigns. Week one, the subject is I have a new home search website. So I'm going to copy that and paste it in the message subject. The from name is your first and last name. The reply to email is your email address and you do not want to personalize the to field. Uncheck that box and scroll down and click next. If you've already created a website template and saved it, it will show up here. If not, you can click Start from Scratch and watch the video called Create a Campaign. It will show you how to create a campaign and then save your template. I'm going to click on this website template. After I select the template, I can look at it and edit the information. In this case, the text that is included here is already the text that is associated with week one. So week one is the introduction to the new web page and that text is already here. So I'm going to scroll down and click next. I'm going to click copy text from HTML and then click next. This is going to confirm who is going to receive your emails. In this case, it should say website. The autoresponder will be sent one day after sign up because this is the introduction campaign. This is the subject line, your email address. Everything else we didn't change. If you see something that needs to be edited, you can click edit next to the thing that you need to change. At the bottom, 
click Start Autoresponder. You're about to start sending one day after sign up. Do you want to continue? Click Start Autoresponder. It says it's done. So we're going to go back to the autoresponders dashboard. I'm going to add a new autoresponder. This autoresponder is going to be for week two. So under list, I'm going to select website. And I'm going to have it send one week after sign up. You can choose to have it send two weeks after sign up or one month after sign up. Whatever you feel is best for your clients. In this case, I feel like if I send it out one week after I introduce them to the website, that'll get them to come back and get in the habit of using my new website. I'm going to make sure that use import time as sign up is selected and I'm going to Name this autoresponder week two. I'm going to click save. I'm going to scroll over week two and click create email. I'm going to send to entire list. My campaign is already named week two. I'm going to go back to the email with my MailChimp drip campaigns and scroll down to week two. The subject is save your property searches. I'm going to highlight that and copy it and paste it in the message subject field. My from name is my first and last name. The reply to email is your email address and you want to uncheck the personalized to field box. Now scroll down and click next. Here's the website template that we used for week one. Click select. I'm going to scroll down and everything on this page is going to stay the same except for the body of the email. I'm going to click edit. And then I'm going to go over to my MailChimp drip campaign email and copy the body of the email. I'm going to delete the text that I already have here. And paste the new text. I'm going to increase the size to 18. And I'm going to change the font to Arial. Once your new information is entered in here, you can click Save Now. You'll see that the information has been updated. In this case, I feel like the information is really close together. So I'm going to go back and insert a line between these sentences and a line between my signature and the end of the body of the email. I'm going to click Save Now. Now scroll down and click Pop-up Preview. If this looks correct and the link works, then you should be ready to send your autoresponder. If your link doesn't work, exit and go back up here, scroll over the body of the email and click edit. Then you're going to want to highlight the text that you're going to want to have linked to your website. Click the link button and make sure that everything is spelled correctly so clients can get to your website to save their searches. After you've done that, Click Save Now, and then click Next. Click Copy Text from HTML, and then click Next. 
This page is just going to verify some information about this autoresponder. It's going to be sent one week after sign up. It's going to go to the website list. You're going to save your property searches. That's the subject line. And all replies are going to go to your email. If you see anything wrong on this page, you can always click edit and change that information. Scroll down and start autoresponder. So this is going to go out one week after sign up. I'm going to click start autoresponder and go back to the autoresponders dashboard. You want to do the same process with all eight weeks of your autoresponders. Now, for example, if you were to get a new client or meet someone that you wanted to add to your autoresponders list and you want them to start receiving emails for starting from the intro campaign and continuing through the weeks in order, what you would do is you would go to lists and click on your website list, add people, and add their email address, first name, last name, click HTML, and click the box down here. Then you'll click subscribe. After you've done this, this person will start receiving emails based on the time frames that you've indicated in your autoresponders. For example, this counts as a sign up. So if you set up your autoresponders to have a client receive an email one day after sign up, they're going to receive the introduction email one day after you add them to your list. They will receive the next email one week after you've added them to this list and so on and so forth through the eight weeks worth of drip campaigns. Go back up and click on autoresponders. Click all autoresponders and you'll see all the autoresponders you have set up. If you click who will get this next, it's just going to say who's going to receive that email on the day that you click who will get this next. There are a bunch of people that are going to receive this in a week, but no one's going to receive it tomorrow. If you log back in tomorrow and click who will get this next, then it'll say the list of people who are going to receive the email on that particular day. After all of your autoresponders are set up, it becomes really easy just to add a new client to a list and have them automatically receive emails from you about your website once a week.